Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is a new month. It is June. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we are halfway through the year already. Isn't that crazy? But um, I got a new video for you guys and this is going through the new releases. I normally call it anti haul slash will I buy. Um, but I'm kind of not doing a complete anti haul. So I really don't want to include that in my title anymore. Um, I would like to change the name of the series because I do like going through each one of these items and just kind of discussing about um, if I'm going to buy it, why I'm going to buy it. If I'm not going to buy it, why I'm not, I'm not going to buy it. Um, so I do need a new name for this series. Um, I was thinking about just something very simple, like buy it or pass it. Um, but you know, I would really love your help. If you guys have any suggestions, um, leave a comment down below. If you just like it to be very plain and simple, my buy it or pass it series um, that I'll do every month, then leave that comment down below as well. Um, but I would just, I would really like your input and to know what you guys think about the title for for the videos so let's just go ahead and jump right into it um, I do get most of my information from trend mood I will have her listed down below okay so the very first thing I want to start off with is I know I talked about this one in my last video but I do want to bring it up just briefly um, it is the Dominique cosmetics the lemonade palette she did reveal the inside I will have to say at first I was kind of taken back it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be um, I really wanted it to be reminiscent of the packaging itself, the different yellows, the different pinks, um, maybe even some reds. That's what I was envisioning. But when I see this, it kind of threw me off. Um, maybe that's just because I was so dead set on having like several different yellows. I mean, I see kind of two in here. I don't know. The lemonade soda does kind of look like a bright yellow. And then I don't know but it's supposed to be a lemonade palette and then you have your name as a cucumber and blueberry fuzz I don't know if that really fits in um, but as a palette itself I'm still extremely interested I've been wanting to try her brand um, ever since she came out with the latte palette I actually am more interested in this than I am the latte palette so I will probably still more than likely be getting this um, along with her lip glosses now she's supposed to drop um, the exact date next week um, along with swatches so I'm super super stoked about that as soon as I receive the release date I will definitely have that listed down below for you guys in the description box okay guys so BH cosmetics is releasing a new palette um, it is the new galaxy palette this is a colorful palette with different finishes it includes 18 colorful magically iridescent spectrum and shades featuring celestial inspired hues and finishes of sheer high shine glitters and reflective metallics with intense pigment payoff three formulas in one palette row one you have your glitter finish row two is your foil finishes row three is your high packed color finishes um, they are also releasing a 10 piece brush set um, with a matching makeup bag and that's going to be $24 the eyeshadow palette is $18 um, I love BH cosmetics brushes I actually bought oh, where are they um, I had bought the Weekend Festival palette set um, brushes, and I am so in love with these brushes. I think they are an amazing quality. Um, They're super, super cheap, and they are just so soft. So I would definitely be interested in the brushes if you want to try them. Um, I would say definitely start off with one of the brush sets. I think that's really a good way to try different brushes from BH Cosmetics. As far as the palette goes, I don't know I love the weekend festival palette so so much um, but this just doesn't really do it for me I do have so many of these shades already um, so it, it's not really anything new and it does just look like a bunch of shimmery shades by the picture I can't tell if there's any match just by the way that it does look um, and I'm not really into all shimmer palettes I did buy like one of those from Urban Decay Cosmetics and I love it 
but I don't reach for it a lot because I do like more complete palettes that have my mattes and my um, transition shades and things like that. I really enjoyed those kind of palettes. Um, and this definitely does not have that. It does not have a transition shade or a crease shade. Um, so this is not a complete palette and that is why I will be passing over this. Okay, so next we have um, LA Girl is releasing four different holographic gloss toppers. Now I do like um, toppers, I like lip glosses, I that's kind of like my preference, but um, I'm not really like a blue, purple kind of person. I don't really typically gravitate towards those colors um, to go on my lips unless I'm specifically using it for a look. Um, but looking at this post, it looks like so much fun. There are um, four shades. You have Starlight, which is yellow. You have Kaleidoscope, which is blue. Magical, which is pink and flashing opal which is purple and they are only six dollars a piece now i would not go straight to the website just to order these um but i think if i saw them in store i would definitely pick up one to at least give it a shot um kind of the yellow one has my attention more than the blue or the, or the purple but it does look like fun so i don't know i i would just kind of keep my eye out um, to see if I see them anywhere. If I do, I would definitely let you guys know on my Snapchat. Um, I will have that listed down below for you guys so you can follow me there, but we'll see. All right, guys, so this next item I'm actually super, super excited about. I can tell you right now, I definitely want to buy it. ColourPop is releasing 42 shades of foundation. That is so freaking awesome. These are their first foundations, so I'm super excited for them. I am so happy that they came out with a really nice shade range. Kudos to them for doing that. This is supposed to be a lightweight formula, a medium to full coverage matte finish, and they are only $12 a piece. That is awesome. Um, I've heard really good things about their concealers. I have not tried them just because I do like being able to go in store and shade matching in person. I don't really like be having to order something online and hoping to goodness that I get the color right. That just kind of seems like a waste of money, especially if it does not end up being the right color. I am more um, hard to color match just because of my yellowish undertone, but this is super exciting and if they are bringing it in stores at Ulta you better believe that I'm going to be picking this up and reviewing it for you guys I'm super super happy about this so it's supposed to come out later this month they don't give us a date um, but the moment they do I will definitely have that listed down below for you guys so make sure you watch out for that if you are interested Urban Decay is releasing a new eyeshadow palette it is called their born to run palette this immediately has caught my eye. First of all, the packaging is super awesome. You have all the different places of travel on the outer packaging. Uh, it comes with a really nice mirror. And then on top of that, you have all these different shades. This is definitely a travel palette. I think they were really smart with this. They were smart with the theme. You have your transition shades on there. It looks like there's uh, some crease shades and inner corner shades, brown bow shades, and of course lid shades. This is just a beautiful palette. It is all inclusive. Um, this is the kind of palette that I am extremely drawn to. So, um, yeah. So you get a total of 21 shades with different finishes. It is a hard case packaging, which I'm super excited about that. It's gonna be available in July. Um, it does not give us a date. Once again, as soon as that becomes available, I will have that listed down for you guys. Um, and it is $49. Now, $49 is actually pretty expensive but considering that it is an all-inclusive palette and i do like urban decay as a brand i will definitely be picking this up and reviewing it for you guys the moment it becomes available and i can get it i am super excited about this i have looked at this palette over and over and over again um and it is just screaming my name so i cannot wait for that 
All right, so Jeffree Star is coming out with a new summer collection. He has the eyeshadow palette. Um, he's got lipsticks, lip scrubs, mirrors, makeup bags. Um, I'm actually not interested in anything in this collection. When I first saw the palette, um, I was my interest peaked, but then I saw the Violet Voss palette. And this screamed my name. Now, first of all, if you look at this palette, it looks kind of similar to the Jeffree Star palette. Um, it kind of has the same shades to it, in my opinion, just by looking at the pictures. And you definitely get more shades in this palette. I would say if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with Violet Voss. And looking at these swatches, it just brings me life. This palette screams summertime. It's got flamingos on the packaging. It is so cute. I'm so excited for this. I have never tried Violet Voss. I have never been interested in one of their palettes. Everything that I have seen um, just did not do it for me. But this palette screams my name. It screams it. It is called the Flamingo Eyeshadow Palette. That is so cute i am so in love oh my gosh like can can you tell i'm excited about this palette <laughs> um so it's supposed to be available let's see sometime this summer this does not give us a date so i definitely will keep you guys updated um if you want to purchase this palette from violet voss you can actually use uh the code trend mood and get 10 percent off I don't know if this is going to be available on Sephora, but as soon as I find anything out, I will definitely let you guys know. But I am so excited for this palette. This palette looks gorgeous. Um, yes, 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 yes. All right, guys. And lastly, Tarte came out with a new collection. I did not know that they were working on this. I was really surprised when I saw the post. I know they have that whole tripping with Tarte um, going on right now, but um, I did not know what it was about until I saw the post on, from Trend Mood. They are releasing a whole collection. Um, it's an eye and cheek palette for $39, a brush set for $42, mascara, which I'm sure is just repackaged, uh, fairy dust for $9, double duty lipsticks $18, in six shades um, magnetic palette for $17 a blush for $29 concealer brush for $24 or you can get the whole entire vault for $110 now um, I love their brushes I am more into eye brushes than I am face brushes I have plenty of face brushes so I'm not going to be picking up this so I'm not gonna be picking up this set I love their blushes so so much this is supposed to be in the color fairy flush so that might be something I grab um, the eyeshadow palette you know I think it's really really pretty I love Tarte um, eyeshadows so much but we just talked about a, a couple different eyeshadow palettes that I want and I'm not gonna be able to get everything so I really have to narrow it down and I would say this is probably on the bottom of my list. I like the packaging, I like the eyeshadows, but I love everything else that we just spoke about so much more. So unfortunately, I will not be getting this. I'm definitely not gonna be getting um, their concealer brush or their repackaged mascara. I have plenty of mascara. Um, so yeah, the only thing I think I would be interested in is the blush. But I have so many blushes, and I, I know I tell you guys this all the time. Like, I just don't even think you realize how many blushes I have. I <laughs> It's sad. I really should be passing on my blushes. That's how many I have. So, you know what? I say I'm going to pass on that. I love Tarte blushes, but I just have so many. I don't need it. I don't need it. So, we're going to pass on this whole collection. I'm sorry, Tarte. I love you guys. But, yeah, this is going to be a no. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. 
Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Is there anything I mentioned um, that you guys are interested in that you really want to see a review on? Are you excited about these new releases? So I would just love your feedback on that. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will have those all linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.